This morning we're going to debug the tSQL error. Cannot use an aggregate or subquery in an expression used for the group by list of a group by clause. <clears throat> I'm going to use a really contrived example here um, where you see we're taking the year of a date of a date field, I should say, the average of the date field and then the average of a rate field from the table savings rate, we're grouping it by year, and then we're grouping it by the average of the year, and we're going to get this error. And the error is right here. This is this is basically a function that's calculating um, the average of the year. So we can actually group by here as a case in point. And this is, like I said, this is the reason why this is a very contrived example, because why would you be taking the average of the year? Um, but in a group by, the error usually reflects a misunderstanding of what group by does. So in this group by, what we're doing is we're taking the year um, of the column, so or of these dates, I should say, of the date field here in savings rate. And we're basically taking the average of that year. Now, most of the years are 12, obviously, but it, it, well, it starts at 1959. But the latest year, I don't believe, has the full... I take that back, it actually does have the full, um, full amount of values. So, um, so what we're doing here is we're saying, okay, we're going to group by these years. So let's say the first year is going to be 1959. So all of these years, we want to take the average of this rate right here. So there's 12 values, obviously in 1959, there's a value each month. So it's going to take all those values, grouping it by that year, 1959, and it's taking the average. So the reason why we get the error message um, is if we were to then throw in an aggregate function in the group by clause. The purpose of the group by clause, oftentimes you also see group by, it's going to be a distinct value. The purpose of that is to basically look at what groups we're going to be applying our, you know, our aggregate function or in this case our average function to we're going to be looking at the average of 1959 and then the average of 1960 and the average of 1961. So we're grouping by this clause. We're not going to group by the average because the average is the function uh, that we're applying, uh, our aggregate function that we're applying to this group. So uh, one thing to note in your group by clause, it's going to be a, a distinct or select group of data. When you're when you're thinking about it from a syntax to syntax perspective, you're going to be thinking about what group am I applying this function to? I'm applying it, like I said, in this one to the um, the year. As a case in point, we could actually apply this function to the month of the date. And what this would do is this would look at the savings rate of each of the months. So again, there's 12 months in a year. So now we're changing it to where we're going to look at what's the average savings rate of Americans in January. And you'll notice, of course, we're only going to get 12 values. So this clause right here, this group by clause, what we're doing is we're, we're putting the value of what we want to group by. So whatever it is that we want to apply our function to, that's what goes in this clause. The function here does not go in the group by clause. And that's generally where we see the error. And again, you can see, you know, just looking at the data set, you say, oh, wow, you know, people in America are more likely to save money in um, uh, January and in December than they are in other months. And in fact, we could even, of course, day is not going to work here because all of the dates are reported on the first.